Whoa, 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 whoa. As you see, I'm currently outside of the dark den and I need to show you some cool thing. It has nothing to do with the video, but check it out. It is some sort of ant war going on. You see, the ants are fighting. Let me try to get closer. It looks like there are two colonies here and they are fighting over something. I mean, it is a general war, you see. One side is clearly winning. Ho ho ho. Anyone with great ant knowledge can maybe tell me what is going on in here. And if these are two colonies fighting then why are they fighting and how does that thing even start? You see there is some entrance I guess from one colony. I don't know. And they are all going over there you see. And there's Mitsa. 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 Come Mitsa. She also wants to check out what is happening. Hey Mitsa. Hey. Look. Look, Mitsa! Mitsa! Ants! <laughs> she doesn't care about ants. I'm <laughs> not impressed. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Let's now start with the actual video. And for the video we will have a sexy time. I actually mean a haba haba time, you know. We are not allowed to say sexy time anymore. This is girl, the brand new one. And the guy is somewhere over here. There. Check the species name. Yeah, it is a Hysterocrates Gigas. Huge girl, you see. Big mama for sure and she's not even spread out. And here is the, the guy. I don't have a good light here, but you can tell that he is much smaller than her. <laughs> he will need a lot of good luck. But as you know, I'm currently working on her enclosure. I will show you, but let me close him just in case and her also. This is the, this is the actual enclosure. I got one part of background done and the other one I will do it in a second. And the enclosure is standing on its side. You see, it is like, like this. This is how it should be. This will be a water section and this will be like a land section and we will have a waterfall going down here. But more on that in the video about that thing. Now for the haba haba time, you know that I said that the female is fresh, that means that she recently molted and her abdomen is kind of smallish. So we want to feed her so she's not hungry and we reduce the chance of her eating the male. And the reason why I want to pair them before I make the actual enclosure, the male is kind of getting old and he stopped eating for some time and I'm kind of worried that he might leave this world soon. So I just want to get it done now and then we can have another pairing once the enclosure is done and she's settled in there. That's the basic idea. So first let's feed her and then we will time jump and do the haba haba time. We need one fat dubia. These are lateralis roaches. We don't need those. But these are the one that we need. Just like that one. I need tweezers. <laughs> let's see if she's actually hungry. Hey girl, here comes your lunch. <laughs> oh no, oh no, come on you need to eat to be strong for some haba haba time. This is not a good sign. Will she actually refuse to eat now? That is so not cool. Pokey poke poke. Get it. Mm. Come on, it is right there. You just need to stomp it. Nope, looks like this isn't happening. Hmm, I didn't expect that. Oops. Please get it. Oh, she really doesn't want to get it. So this raises some questions. Should we do a haba haba time tomorrow or not? Oh. She was slapping it so hard. Oh, such a shame. It looks like it is your lucky day. Go <laughs> and celebrate your victory. Oh well, I'll see what I will do tomorrow. Time jump. So I actually waited two days. For two days I was trying to feed this girl. Again, I was giving her dubias. I also tried giving her smaller, I mean adult lateralis roaches. You know, they are kind of smaller. So 
I was thinking that maybe she will take down those since they are smaller a bit, but no, for two days she was just refusing whatever I offer her. So I decided to try this anyway, hopefully since she doesn't want to eat, she also won't be willing to go out of that way and actually try to eat the male. We will do it slowly, I will let them feel each other for some time, I won't be pushing them at the start, hopefully that will help and once they actually get close and start doing something. I will put camera aside and I will concentrate more on trying to protect the male the, to the best of my abilities as much as I can protect him with the tweezers and stuff. So wish him luck now, he will need it. You see the female is currently in the middle of the enclosure. Oh, not anymore. Ah, uh, what a beauty, what a beauty. And the male is here. You see she is much darker than the male. So I'm thinking that I will just turn this like like that. Take this cord back and do I even need it? I wanted to make like a bridge, but maybe that one is too big. Let me find some other one. If I have smaller one, yeah, this should be ideal. Oh, the male is actually moving already. Like that. All right, now I will just leave them alone for a bit. And we actually have some packages to open that will do it in the meantime. We will see if they will actually feel each other and start moving in some direction. Maybe I will actually move all of that a bit further, like here. And we'll put the camera here. So this way you will see both of them and you will spot if some starts to move. Oh, the male is actually moving. The tweezers that I will need to separate them if needed. And also the... Dude, where are you going? Oh. Hmm. Was he actually drumming? I'm not sure. I didn't expect that he will move that quickly. Then I definitely need to make an elevator. <laughs> Someone is nervous. And it is not only me. Oh, chill dude. Everything's gonna be alright. So now maybe I just need to guide him a bit over here, all the way to the female. Let's see if we gently touch him at his back leg. Whoa! <laughs> Butt razor, look at him! <laughs> what is up, dude? Is that a threat or what? No, you're going in the wrong direction. Oh no, I don't think that he feels the female. This is hilarious. This is so hilarious. Hey, don't go there. Let me show you the way. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, that's the spot. No, no. no go up the core. No, no, uh, not under the core bark. Go on the core bark. Yes. No. <laughs> Please. Exactly. And no, 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 not there, not there. No, no, dude, dude, no, no. Why are you doing that, man? I'm just trying to help you out. Actually, I have an idea. I need two hands. There we go. Look at this ball of feet. Now I will leave him be and hopefully he will move slowly, get here, touch her web and then realize what is happening and what he must do. You will do that, right? <laughs> Good luck. Now let's let's open some packages. This is one, but I just need to keep an eye, an eye on him so he doesn't do anything, anything stupid. Letter. Something. Something else. What is this? Let's read the letter. Wait, 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 oh, oh my god, 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 stop, 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 stop. Ooh, I'm not ready for this, I'm not ready for this, no, no, dude, 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 dude. Oh, oh my, oh my This is 
is happening? Oh my god! Please, please, you are not hungry. Girl, you are not hungry. Look how her butt is raised. She doesn't want to reach out. What is this? Oh, this is so scary to watch. Please just let him go, please. My hands are shaking so much. I just don't want her to eat him. Please. Why? What is up with your butt? Put it down. Okay? I don't know. Is it still going? But he is so small in comparison. It's like she doesn't let him reach. Look. You see that? Are you backing out? Why is she... Why is she doing that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, maybe she doesn't want it. Hmm. I'm just hoping that I'm fast enough to stop her if she decided to do a stupid thing. But look how tiny he is when you compare them. Oh my god. So hilarious how my tweezers are shaking. I just can't help it, too much adrenaline. Mm, where are you going? Hello? Dude, I think that she's not ready. Yeah, she's moving away now. Dude, I'm calling it. It's enough. Some other time, dude. Go there. Oh, this was nerve-wracking. <sighs> we tried it, but I think that she is not ready. She definitely showed that. Maybe they should do it like, I don't know. Maybe that is just their ritual, but I will just leave it for once we rehouse her into her, her new enclosure and when we have a proper setup and everything. Now at least I know that I tried and that this guy is in the mood. Oh, but we will still open. I mean, I will show you what I got. This should be something hilarious. And we will also open this package. Let me just show you how the, the enclosure looks. You see, currently I am testing the waterfall. The background is complete and the waterfall is complete. The water is flowing without any problem. And now I'm just testing it out to see if there, there will be some issues regarding this. But so far, so good. If it stays this way, in two days I will start I mean, I will finish the enclosure and get her in. So only two days for her to get inside of this enclosure. The whole video will probably come out in next Friday. Oh, okay. Oof, this was really stressful. I think that this is just not the job for me. I don't know. I just take it so personally and I just don't want to see a guy getting eaten in front of me. I don't know. I would like to avoid it at any cost. Oh my God. Oh my, you need to see this. I loved every single fan art that I received so far, but this, this has to be the most coolest of them all. Oh my God, look at this. It is me riding Sasha, <laughs> yelling more substrate. And look, this is straw. This is this straw with, you see, you see bite marks and everything, just like the, the original one got. You see, it is full of bite marks. This is so awesome. <laughs> It is from Christian from California and he is a tattoo artist and just wanted to to give me this. <laughs> he watches videos together with his sister and the videos inspired him to start his own collection. <laughs> and also he says if I ever find myself in California, I have a free tattoo. Mm, that would be really cool, really awesome. And yeah, of course that you get a shout out together with your sister, Alex. Shout out to both of you. <laughs> Just looking at this poster, you can see that, that Christian is an awesome tattoo artist, so I will write you his, his Instagram so you can check it out, and if you are in the area, I guess, you can go and get a tattoo if you are down for that. And also, these two, it should be some sort of candy, some sort of Mexican candy. Let me just check it out, but I don't know why it's wrapped like this. <laughs> okay, so this looks weird to say. <laughs> Similar thing, and it says Chili gummy. So these are like like gummy candy, but with chili. I wonder how this tastes. Are they really hot? They are hotish. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. Different, but I like it. Thank you for this. This is 
really awesome and i was thinking about replacing all of this fan art with new fan art because in the meantime i received a lot of other fan art and since there is no longer room on this board for them i thought that i would just remove all and put new ones and of course i would store this one i wouldn't throw them away they are all awesome but just to show the appreciation for all the rest of you that sent me other fan art i want to put them here to hang for a few months so we will do that soon <laughs> this is awesome awesome and this final box and it looks like this one again it's from kenya and her family so this is basically a traditional package by now <laughs> Later. Ah, yeah. Now I remember. As always, candy skills. Heck yeah. And this is a spider made out of wire. Look, and it looks like a Brachypelma behmei. At least judging by the colors, it should be that species. Awesome. Let's read the letter. This is interesting. So this sculpture, let me just read it. The young man who made it is a local artist with learning difficulties. He literally looks at an image of an animal and can whip the wire into shape within minutes. Awesome. And she's also asking if I know which species is this. And I think it's Brachypelma behme, right? In case you are interested in this, here are his information. So there you go. Uh, thanks Kenya for sending me this and yeah, it is a shame that you didn't manage to come to the BTS But this will also be an announcement in November. I will also visit the Southern show in Brighton So once again, I will visit the UK and all of you that live more south and couldn't make it to the BTS see you there So I hope you enjoyed this video even though the pairing wasn't successful I'm glad that he is still alive and nothing happened to him if you like the video thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there is a patreon page if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe Apple every Monday and Friday so see you again soon bye